Hey, Sab, it's me, John. Hey, hopefully everything is okay with you. Um, I didn't want this to come out this way. I didn't want to say it this way. I kind of wanted to tell you in person. But this is what I had planned. Um, after Sunday, actually yesterday, what I wanted to let you know was this. So I have a budget in my mind. I have a budget for... Now, keep in mind, I don't want you to be frightened off. I don't want you to be scared. I'm just saying, this is how it's laid out financially. So just keep this in mind. I'm not talking... This doesn't have to happen immediately. I'm just putting that out there just so you know. I'm not rushing anything. I don't want to scare you off. But here's the budget. The budget is $2,000 for an engagement ring at the end of September. At the end of February, the budget should, my budget will be $4,000 for an engagement ring for you. Now again, I'm not trying to frighten you off or scare you off or move too fast. I'm not saying it gotta happen in September or February. I'm just saying that's my financial budget that I'm saving up for for you. So if we can move things along in a positive direction which I think we can I will have $4,000 at the end of February um, for an engagement ring for you again I'm not saying it has to happen at the end of February but that would be my budget for you and I wanted to let actually I wanted to let you know that on Saturday night but I wound up uploading that that video uh that video about my, my apartment. But yeah, I wanted you to know that. Now, Saba, you are very, very smart. And that's one of the reasons why I like you so much. If, if I'm a person that like doesn't care about you, that's not serious about you, that's playing games, that's just basically wasting time and BS and lying, there's no way I would even be talking about saving up that much money for an engagement ring for you if I wasn't serious about you. You know that. You're very smart. You know that. You also know, even before that, you know how much I care about you. You know how much, you know how hard I've been trying to be with you. You know this. I understand that maybe this is what I had to go through Maybe this is what you had to put me through so that you could test and see whether I was for real. Whether I'm being truthful to you. Whether I'm playing games or whether I'm being serious. I mean, but at this point, I think you can see that I'm, I'm serious about this. I'm serious about you. But again, I'm not rushing anything. I'm just telling you that financial budget even well before that I just like to spend some time with you I like to take you out I like to get to know you better I like to talk with you we ha we need to do those things first before that and I just want you to know that I'm willing to take things a step at a time and that's what I mean wait for you I'm willing to take things a step at a time but Saba you I, I've made steps, Saba. I think it's time for you to make a step forward too. Again, to at least try to see if I'm serious or not. To at least try to see whether this is worth it or not for you. And all you have to do is just let the first step, all it is is talking or texting. That, that is the first step. And if I didn't ask already, because I've had to do this a video a couple of times, Saba, I, I would like to formally ask you, can I have your phone number? Can I have your number? We need to talk or we need to text. We really do. So can I please have your number so that we can talk or text and we can try to work things out? I think everything will go great. No worries. I will not contact you all the time. It will not be over contact. The only reason it's over contact at this point 
is because of Brightspace and the fact that I wanted you to know that even though I'm not logged in, I still care about you and I'm still interested in you. But at that point, if we exchange numbers and we actually spend time with each other, that won't even be necessary because you will always know. You will always have the ability to get in contact with me anytime. And you can always, we can always set up a time where I can come pick you up. We could go out. We could spend time with each other. I think it will be great. We will have a lot of fun. And I know being with somebody, you know, in a relationship is more than just just having fun. But I, I would like to have fun. I, I want to laugh. I want to joke. I want to have fun. I want to do things that are adventurous. I, I, I think this will be great for us all. Yeah, I, I just hope that, uh, I just hope that you uh, listen to all of this and you can kind of see where I am at this point, even with what happened in, you know, earlier today. It doesn't bother me, it doesn't faze me. I still feel the same way about you. So anyway, I'm going to not make this one too long because I don't know how long it's going to take for YouTube to process this. That's why I don't like uploading videos to YouTube, but I did want you to hear this and I did and I do want you to know, you know, my feelings haven't changed towards you. Again, I'm not rushing anything. I'm just telling you about the budget. After we spend time with each other and we go out and we get to know each other better and we and the energy hopefully will remain the same, then yes, I will have that money for an engagement ring when we ready. I wanted I just wanted you to know that. All right, so I will talk to you later. Bye.